Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us as we discuss the growing dire situation with the African American unemployment and concern about our elected officials like Senator Alan Lowenthal, uh, who may be working the block projects that could put our community to work in this coming year. Farmers Field is the largest private investment, investment in the California Western region. And with the unemployment rate in the African American community over 19.3%, with a project like Farmers Field that can create 20,000 jobs, it is crucial that this project goes through. We need to pass SB Bill 292. We will be signing and del delivering a letter to Senator Lowenthal's office. Here to bring our opening remarks, please welcome the great Glenn Milberg. Now today I'm reminded of the promise I felt as a young student just a few miles away from here. As someone who has spent the last several years working directly in the real estate industry, I can attest at how difficult and devastating this recession has been to me. And I'm a Stanford Honors graduate and an NFL record holder. For those who may not carry that same title, I can only imagine how difficult this time must be for them. Today I join this coalition to call upon Senator Alan Lowenthal and the California Legislature to clear the final hurdle to allow the largest mega project in the Western United States. With SB 292, the environmental community can claim a victory. And let's show America that California leads the way in getting people back to work. Thank you. Please welcome Reverend Eric Lee. It's unfortunate that today we are fighting the same issues that we've been fighting for the last 50 years. The African American community has been hit by an economic tsunami. And the question that we ask is what are our elected officials doing to help? Eye to eye, face to face, that this project is a good project because it will provide over 10,000 jobs, jobs that are desperately needed in our communities. So what we are asking from our community is that they act and act swiftly to pass Senate Bill 292 so that we may put people to work, that they may have the quality of life they deserve, and that they are the first responders in this economic crisis that has hit the African American community harder than every other community. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Leon Jenkins. I'm president of the Los Angeles NAACP. You have most of the community behind this bill. There's absolutely no valid, reasonable argument that can be made that this bill should not be passed. It would be a disappointment, sir, if you did not follow through on what historically you have always done, the right thing. Thank you. Please welcome the African American Caucus Chair of the California Democratic Party, the Honorable Mr. Darren Parker. Is it important that I point out to our press and to our elected leadership that they understand that people are hurting? People in our community are losing ground fast. So we applaud the efforts of the Legislative Black Caucus and their support in this bill. But the real story here today is that there are two companies out there, AEG and Farmers, who in the middle of a deep depression, excuse me, recession, are actually putting up $1.5 million to rebuild our convention center and build a stadium in downtown Los Angeles. My name is Lorraine Williams. I'm a 23-year-old apprentice who's recently married. I'm an apprentice and I'm, and I'm local 433. I'm currently unemployed and looking for work. We need good careers brought to our community so people like myself can take care of their family. My father is a journeyman, iron worker, so I know the benefits of having a good career. But we need more jobs. We need more jobs. Foreman's Bill would bring opportunity to people like me. My name is Lola smallwood Cuevas, and I coordinate the LA Black Worker Center uh, project of the UCLA Labor Center. Black job crisis is indeed a horrific crisis that's been long in the making. Many of the speakers before have talked about the unemployment rate of 19.3%, and that's 19.3% that has jumped from 8.6% in the last four years. And we are here today to support this project because we know that farmers feel the work of the building and construction trades and the workers who are here with us are committed to seeing that this project be built and to bring middle class jobs to Los Angeles. The president and CEO of the Community Financial Resource Center, Caressi. Thank you. This is such an important day because the work 
that needs to go forward cannot go forward until Senator Lowenthal takes a stand with the community and with African American workers and workers around this region and supports SB 292. The football stadium and what it will do will not only serve as a place for an NFL team, but it will serve as an economic engine for the region. I'm Pastor Logan and founder of Rock Christian Community Fellowship. I stand in solidarity with workers amidst the sinking economic plight that we have experienced offering the arc of cooperation, of common ground, of mutual benefit, and of collective work and responsibility. We want you to come on. I also want to give a letter to the smaller one just to make sure I had a good yard. I had a fun way to get here. This project is crucial to us.